Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Slackers, bringing you guys our next matchup in the Smash Bros. Upgraded Tournament. So, uh, we got a new matchup with a brand new character that's never been in any of these tournaments. So, very curious to see how they play out as a character. They're one character, but there's two iterate. There's a male and a few. We'll jump into that. We'll get into that. But, uh, so, uh, what's this all about? If you're new, it's simple. It's, uh, we put a bunch of characters into a tournament. Each day on the channel, I upload one of the matches from the tournament. How the matches work, I'll, I, basically, I kind of run the character down. I'll get, uh, you know, I'll go over some facts, maybe a mini moveset pool, uh, maybe a little fun story. I don't know, something like that. And then we vote between one of the two characters down in the comment section. But before we vote, we all have to make sure we follow the rules because there's a few rules and uh, they're important. But don't worry, they're very simple and easy to follow. So we'll put them up on screen. All right, so rule number one, you have to be a little open-minded for this tournament. That's simply because all the characters in this tournament have the potential to be upgraded into a playable character. So, you know, assist trophies, spirits, that sort of stuff. Yeah, we get it. So you got to be a little open-minded. Uh, rule two, you only get one vote per person. We, we keep it fair that way, all right? We keep it fair that way. And if there's anything that looks suspicious, I throw the vote out. That's how that works, all right? So one vote per person. Be fair. Uh, let's see though the rest of the rules. How do you vote? This is a simple one The way to vote is type the name of the character you are voting for down in the comment section and please be clear For the character that you're voting for make it make sure that it stands out Don't just type some random sentence like hey this character would be kind of cool. That's not a vote All right, just say Character such-and-such such gets my vote that way. I know it's clear. I know who you're voting for all right, I'm having a little bit of an issue with that lately. So people aren't clear, so I just want to make make that clear. Make your vote clear. All right, rest of the rules. Double elimination tournament, meaning a character has to lose two times before being eliminated. Then once we get to the results to determine the winner and loser of each individual match, if there happens to be a tie in the votes, we flip a coin on camera, fairest way to break a tie. Then each matchup voting wise only lasts for just one week. So you have seven days for when the matchup gets uploaded to get your vote in. Simple. Those are the rules. Let's get to the rest of the video. All right, so let's start things off by going over the matchup, the results from last week, which, uh, which was, was this? Oh, yes, uh, this one, eh, it wasn't the closest, but it wasn't really a blowout. Uh, the matchup was Rex and Pyra, or Rex, or just Pyra, or just Myth, or whatever you would prefer, uh, from Xenoblade, taking on Captain Toad, and the winner ended up winning by 10 votes, if I'm not mistaken, and the winner... Down here, there, there we go. Rex and Pyra ended up winning this one. 33 votes to just 23 for Captain Toad. So Rex and Pyra move on to the next round of the winner's bracket. And unfortunately, Captain Toad does drop to the loser bracket. One thing I've noticed about my tournaments, Captain Toad never gets like a break. He always ends up facing like some really tough competition very early in the tournament. And it kind of sucks. And again, that happened. So we'll see if Captain Toad can make a pretty decent run through the loser bracket. But, uh... Before we get there, we got some other matches to get to, and, uh, well, that brings us to today's match. So, uh, we have an interesting one. First up, uh, Monster Hunter, or the Hunter for Monster Hunter, is going to be taking on a character that is known as Tethu, or Tethi, uh, depending on if you choose the male or female version, from Ever Oasis. It is a spirit. So, it's kind of, it's, it's a pretty cool, uh, pretty fun Sort of character, and we'll jump into that once we get there. But uh, let's go to the Monster Hunters. Hunter. The Hunter from Monster Hunter, right? We all know the character, right? We all know the franchise. Insanely popular around the world, especially in Japan, if that matters to anybody. Very. The games sell tremendous. They've been on countless Nintendo platforms. They've had countless games on uh, Nintendo platforms as well. Oopsies. Hold on. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so they've been on countless Nintendo. So, Nintendo Capcom work very well. Like I said, Monster Hunter does sell very well. People know the franchise. People know the character. But maybe they actually don't know the character. Because that's the thing. In Monster Hunter, you create an avatar. You create your own playable characters. So, it's like, okay. If, the, if, if Monster Hunter were to get a playable rep, who do you go with? And that's always the, that's always the big issue. And I think the... The one that would make the most sense is the one you see on screen here. Uh, this iteration of Monster Hunter is from the Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite games. And the only reason I say this one makes the most sense, and I've said it in the past as well, this character has actual 
fully fledged out voice acting. This is like a reoccurring armor, the reoccurring character, so it's the most recognizable. Hello. <laughs> it's the most recognizable um, hunter. What is happening? Hello? Computer? Stop. <laughs> it is the most recognizable uh, hunter, uh, the, the Rathalos armor, and all that stuff. It. It just stands out. People will recognize it. People, okay, I've seen that character. At least I know what the, what, what they, at least what they look like, right? So uh, the Monster Hunter character again. I always make the comparison to Byleth, and I said this even before Byleth uh, came up. The 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 way that I envisioned my you know me my opinion here. The way I envisioned the character was somewhat similar to how Byleth does play, and that is with the multiple weapons. Not to say that you can't have that with another character, right? I think it would be tremendous. Get different moves, or <laughs> different moves. Get different weapons, in you know, incorporated in the uh, in the in the move set. Yes, you're gonna have your big sword, your big blade from the hunter. You're gonna have that. So it would be odds are it would be a slower hitting, so, like uh, King DDD for example. His uh, forward smash very slow but very powerful. So something along the lines of that. Very slow. But very powerful. You could do that for smash attacks if you wanted to. Um, there's also ice bows. Very cool. Very fun idea for a neutral special. Charge it up, and um, you know the lo longer you charge it, and if it ends up hitting an opponent, boom, they get the little freeze effect. And uh, you know, well, we know what freeze effect is. So uh, you got some projectiles, which is awesome. The dual wielding daggers, which is really cool as well. I think I have that right here. Is that the dual wield? I think that's the daggers right there, but. There's so many like different weapons in the Monster Hunter universe that you don't have to rely on just the big blade. I know a lot of people, when you think of Monster Hunter, as an example, you'll think of just the big sword that they carry around, right? And that's fair. You know, that's probably their iconic weapon, their, their signature weapon, if you will. But there's still a lot more that you can really change up the character, change up how they look and everything. And uh, one cool thing that they could do as well for the alternate costumes, alternate skins... They could go the the hero from Dragon Quest. They could go that route. Get maybe two, three, or four different uh, you know variations of Monster Hunter armor just to really you know increase the the, the I, I don't know just the presence of other Monster Hunter games. You know, just other armors would be really fun, uh, really cool. And then you know, so say you go with four different armors, and then each of those armors obviously gets an alternate color, which would be very fun, very cool. It's just uh, Another cool nod to the the franchise overall. I do think the character would be fun, especially like I said, I I envision him playing a lot like Byleth. Therefore, I mean, I, I like Byleth. I, I'll say it. I like Byleth's style. Do I? Let's set aside the fire emblem thing, okay? I like I like Byleth's uh, play style. Very fun. So having a character that could do that, as well as maybe I don't want to say improve, but you know, just. A look, just different than how Byleth was. Whatever it might end up being, I'm all for it. I think it would be a fun character, and I really could. And plus, Monster Hunter's on my top 50 most wanted characters. I think like 45, 44, somewhere around there. So, I would like to see the character, but um, what about what about the uh, Monster Hunter's opponent here? This is an interesting one. So, Tethu, Tethi. The Ever Oasis series. So, if you don't know what it is, basically, like I said, Tathu is the male, Tethi is the female. So, you could do the four and four splits for the alternate skins as well, which would be really fun. And uh, the the character. So, what 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 can they do? What kind of move set do they have? What what are they about? So, uh, the move set, I think, is actually got really good potential as well. Uh, yeah, they they have access to swords. They got spears. Uh, what else? They got like wands. Uh, ooh, bolas. Bolas would be fun. That would be annoying, but think of a character for a second with a bola. And you, Chuck, if you don't know what a bola is, it's like little rocks uh, tied around like some leather or something like that. So you throw it and it kind of like wraps around somebody and it immobilizes them for a couple seconds. And I think that'd be really fun. I don't know. Down sp side special, maybe. Just swinging the bola. Chuck it and ends up hitting, connecting with the opponent. Maybe not off stage because that might be a little broken. But how about on stage? Hit hit your opponent with the bola on stage and they're kind of frozen in place for a few seconds. That gives you the chance to go up and bop, 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 combo, start something. Hit them with a big smash attack. Whatever it might be. I think bolas in a move set. 
actually look we have we have nothing like that we have nothing like that uh, so that'd be kind of cool nice little setup into other stuff but again like i said um yes there are swords spears wands so you got some magic you can work with you got some just other melee type of weapons you can work with as well so the, the only thing about the ever oasis series at least in my opinion and i'm sure some people are going to agree with this it might not seem like the DLC type of character that we'd get for Smash Bros, right? It it would if this were to happen as a as a playable character in Smash, odds are it'd probably end up being a uh, uh, base roster character. It's not a knock against the, the the series whatsoever. Don't take don't twist the words around. It's just it would be so really out of left field. And if we're gonna talk about upgraded characters in general. If Tethu Tethi ends up being a character that does get upgraded into playable, you'll have people that would be upset only in terms of, like, you went with that character for an upgrade over this, 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 and this, you know. So it, it would be a very strange uh, addition for DLC in terms of upgrading this. But again, base roster, I could, I think this character could be really fun. Um... You could end up doing, uh, what, what's the, uh, what's the other, um, crap, what's the, what's the other character's name that, uh, you, you play, you run around with another character in your party a lot, so, like, it would be fun to maybe have, like, a little combo move or something, you know, like, team up with, uh, I, I really can't remember the character's name, but basically, uh, there's a second character and, uh, you know, in your party and you ends up doing other different attacks, so, maybe getting, like, other team members kind of involved in a move set as well would be kind of fun so i'm not saying like a two in one sort of character but just kind of like helping out with attacks or something like that would be kind of fun maybe you summon the character for whatever reason i don't know if that really makes sense but you know just just getting a little bit different but again the character just doesn't really scream smash bros dlc playable character so i, I do think the character could be fun i do I don't know where the character would land in my top 100 list. I don't even... Probably... Maybe somewhere in there. Somewhere in there. But I think just for this case, just because... I know Monster Hunter a bit more. I, I can envision the play style a lot, and I would like the play style, so... Yeah, unfortunately for this one, for Tethu, I'm voting Monster Hunter. I just... I guess... I like the character better. We'll put it that way. So, let me know who you guys got down in the comments. I'm curious to see what other people think of Tathu Tathu, the Ever Oasis series. I'm curious to see if anybody actually does vote. Hey, people requested this character to be in, so that's why they're in the tournament. So, uh, yeah, that is going to be it for this one. Little sneak peek for tomorrow. The results for tomorrow are going to be from Verdi from the Kid Icarus series, who is taking on Zero from the Mega Man series. And then uh, the results for, no, sorry, the matchup for tomorrow is going to be Kamek from the you could say Yoshi, the Mario universe overall, who's taking on Dr. Eggman, who's coming off the win against Crystal by three votes. So that's tomorrow. Today's today. Today's wrapping up. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.